What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Sean Mercury for you today with another video for you guys. And in today's video, we have a plastic tub tank we are going to be setting up. And this is going to be the biggest and largest one we have done yet. So we're going to do a second part. The other one that I did, the first one I think I did, it already has like 4,500 views. That's crazy. And we have 66 likes to 7 dislikes. That is really good. I'm going to pop up a picture right here so you guys can see it. And yeah, and then I'm gonna put a card too also so you guys can check out that video. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. But before we get that started, um, I have the, I forgot what this is called, the sand perch right here so we can put in the, the bird cage. And we also have the cuddle bone for the birds. They use this, this is good for them. So yeah, we're gonna be putting these in and then we'll start the tank video and then we'll go off and buy some fish for the tank. So let's start off with the sand perch because this is gonna be for them to like uh, sand down their nails because the in the last video as you guys know I went off and bought the yellow parakeet right here are you catching that mm -hmm. all right we got the yellow parakeet right there it's been only a day so we're gonna be adding um, this in so there's more perches and stuff they love this area right here as you guys can see and in the last video I mentioned that I was gonna be putting this in so let's put this in really quick um, he's doing good. I've seen him eat a little bit, not crazy. He's probably been eating, he was probably eating a little early when I wasn't around. Cause you know, he's probably still nervous and stuff. But we're gonna be adding this sand perch in right now. And then we're gonna add that cuddle bone right after. So, I'm, I know they're gonna freak out when I put this in here. Can you see? They're already freaking out. They're already freaking out. I just don't want them to fly out, so that's why I'm like very gentle. I'm going very, very slow. Come here. Like, just jump over that so you can get a better view. Does that look good in there? I just don't want them to poop on the bowl, so I think that's good right there. So you just put the sand perch in just like that, and then this part goes in on the outside, obviously, and you just tie it like this and boom perfect beautiful everything's good you gotta mm -hmm. just make sure it, i just wanted to go slowly because i did not want them to freak out a lot because if they were freaking out like crazy yesterday so that's perfect right there like i said that's mostly just for them to sand down their nails a little bit they have like crazy long nails matthew right now we're going to be adding the cuddle bone this is really good for them this is good for like their beaks and stuff and they're just eating it. It's just good for them in general. Um, it's relatively cheap too. This is like two bucks for this whole thing. And I don't know who eats it the most, but this will probably be probably about like halfway by like in the next two, three days or so. Because they go crazy after this. So I'm going to add this by the food right here. Actually, just add it by the water because I just like to add it by the water. Eh. They won't freak out, freak out because I'm down here, so. And just like that, it is good to go. Boom. Let me see. Now we gotta cover this, put this back down. Boom. Just gave them new food about like 20, 30 minutes ago. Here's the cuddle bone and there is the sand perch. And now guys, we are going to be heading off to the pet store to pick up some fish for this tank and let's head over there. some tetras for the plastic tank so we're probably gonna get some type of tetra something like this or 
They have a bunch of these which I'm thinking about doing the white with the black or the serpes right there. Probably gonna take one of each. So let's try and get one or two and let's bag it. These guys are pretty hardy, right? They are, yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, I've seen black tetras like surviving in tanks with tickets and stuff like that. For real? Yeah. Damn. Alright guys, we have both of our fish right here. We only got two. We got the all white one and then we got the black skirt tetra right there. I only got two fish because I don't want to put too many fish in there and um, I'm probably not going to have it up. I'm probably going to put these guys with the dwarf platys after the build or something like that. So I didn't want to put too many fish in there and the five gallon, there's not obviously not enough space for a lot of fish in there. So that's why I only got two. So yeah, we're going to be making this build. It's one of the biggest plastic builds we've done on the channel. So now we are going to be heading home right now, guys. And we're going to start setting this bad boy up. Let's go. We have everything we need right here. We got the plants. We got the, some gravel. I don't think this is going to be enough gravel for this whole entire thing. So if we're short on gravel, just know you need more gravel if you are planning on making this yourself. I keep spilling gravel all over the place. And you guys already saw that the fish we got, the white, the all white tetra and the black skirt tetra is right here. So leave them right there. So we're gonna start setting this up guys, you know how I do this. And yeah, we're gonna obviously pop off the lid, just like that. So right now, Damn it, all the gravel is going All right, so you're gonna grab your gravel, obviously. This is already washed and stuff, so get the gravel like this. Come here. Catch this, like, a more, yeah. Like. Now look, all the gravel. And look, you see, that isn't gonna be enough. All right, so whatever, that's fine. That's a little bit more. I thought we were going to have way, way less, so we're going to put that right here, and then float away. Now, we have, come here, we have a bunch, a bunch of plants. Let me show you. One, two, three, this is a decoration. Four, five, six, seven plants to choose from, so we can pick any of these seven. We're going to need a really, really tall one. What do you think? Mm. There's a lot of pink. I think we're gonna do this so it takes up more space. I actually, I actually have more stuff. Wait, pause it. I have more things, but all I have is this extra, this decoration, and all these plants. I'm thinking we're definitely gonna do this, so let's just throw that in there. We need one really tall plant, so this one's the tallest. And this one's not that big, and this one looks way smaller. So we're gonna have to use this orange one as well. We'll just put it right here for now. So we need one decoration. What do you think? This? I've kind of already done this before, but whatever. This is fine? Yeah. Yeah, let's just throw that in there. All right, so far, it looks empty. We need like two more plants. Which one? I'm thinking like this one. Yeah. Or wait. Or, or that one. one, yeah. Put that like right there. Matthew, which one do you think we should get? Choose one. We have four. One more. This one? This one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Do you think we should add this in here? Yeah? Or should we keep this? No? Alright, let's see. We'll just put that there for now. So, this one or this one? I don't know, but which one? This one? Hmm, what do you think? That looks a little plain, right? Yeah, it looks a little yeah. bit plain. I wish we had more gravel because it would have looked way better. But, yeah, I think we're probably going to have to do this one, Matthew. So that one's better? Yeah, I think that looks better. I don't know if you can put that like that. So now, what we're going to obviously need to do is fill it up, get some prime, acclimate the fish, and get a filter. I'm going to put a filter on this bad boy right now. So let's fill it up first, and let's go. Alright, 
we got all the stuff where we needed to put them. As you guys can see, it is set up. We put the plants how we wanted them. We have the filter on right here. All we gotta do is plug it in. So we're gonna plug it in right now. Let's get started right here, plugging it in. Okay, right there. Let's see. I need the water to start spilling out. Okay, that's probably gonna take a second. So while that's doing that, we're gonna be grabbing the fish right here and letting them acclimate for like 20 minutes. So we're gonna put them right here. Let them acclimate for, like I said, 20 minutes. And we are gonna be adding some prime in here. That's to, oh, look, the filter's going. Right there, right in Matthew, that's on. Yep, you see he said it himself. So the prime is just chlorinator. It's good for the marine and freshwater fish. It takes out the chlorine in the water and also nitrate, nitrite, and ammonia. So you don't want to add too much because this stuff is pretty strong. Just add very little. This is uh, one capful, I think it's for like 10 gallons. Let me see. Oh no, one capful is for 50 gallons. So like I said, be careful. I'm barely going to add anything. Just like that, that's fine. Add a little bit more because I was kind of weak. I like to put it right under the filter so that can spread out evenly. And that stuff smells really, really bad too, by the way. Anyways, that's that. And now we're just gonna let the fish uh, stay there and, you know, let them acclimate and stuff. So, catch you in like 10 minutes. All right, now we just gotta pop the bag. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Are you get scared. All right, it's been like 15 minutes or so. We're gonna be putting them in now. Catch this. We're gonna be dumping them into the bucket. Oh, oh, We're just missing the white one. Boom, as you guys can see right there, the white one and the black skin, black skirt actually. Just dump them in the fish tank. Boom, one, two. There they are. Catch a bird's eye view. Let's get the top. There's the black skin skirt. Keep saying black skin. Black skirt and the all white one right there. I'm not 100% sure what they're, those are called, but I think they're all the all white clouds, etc. or something like that. But there we have both of them. They're now in the tank. That is that, guys. We're gonna be wrapping this video, wrapping this video up by the bird cage where we just put all the things just to check it out a little bit more, the sand perch and everything we just added in. And just to show off a little bit more of the English parakeet, even though I just did a video on that last video, but we're gonna show off a little bit of the, the tetras really quick and the tank. Let me see. Just show it off a little bit more before we finish and wrap up this video. This plant is floating, but let me push it back down. Let's see, push it back down. That's fine there, that's where it was. And our tetras are right down there. I know you can't really tell the white one because of the white gravel, but let me get a side angle view. They're both right there, guys. I just did this tank just to show you guys that you guys can make a tank uh, out of plastic. And if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money on a fish tank, you guys could just make a plastic tank right here, just like this. It's easy, quick to set up. All you need is the right stuff. Everything that I put in the video is what you guys are gonna need for this video. So yeah, I mean for the tank, not for the video. But yeah, if you guys wanna make this tank, it's super easy and quick. And we did that literally like in what, 10 minutes? So yeah, um, yeah, this is everything. This is the whole tank. We could've put, we could've used more gravel. So if you guys are looking to get this exact uh, bin, just get two bags of gravel because that was like one, I would almost half full, full of gravel, one bag, and it wasn't enough, so we need two. And I totally figured out when I went to go pick up these fish. So that's what we're gonna do, and this, I'm gonna meet you guys by the birdcage, so let's go. Here we have the birdcage, and it is just looking beautiful, guys. The two parakeets are looking perfect. They're not fighting, everything is beautiful. Are they gonna kiss right now? Maybe, 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 whatever. They have this nice little tree branch right here. It looks perfect. The two swings where they sleep at night, the sand perch, which I have not seen them use just yet, but they'll get, they'll, they'll start using it probably like in a day or so. But then we have the wooden stick, they stay there sometimes. We have the cuddle bone right here, their water dish, food bowl, 
dish, bowl, whatever you guys want to call it, plate, whatever. It's all the same thing. But yeah, guys, that's all that I have for you guys today. Hope you guys really liked this episode. Hope you guys liked the plastic DIY fish tank we did over there. I think it was really cool and a cool idea. That's the biggest one we've done out of all of them we have done. We've done around like probably like seven or more. I'm not even sure. But we've done a lot, guys. And that's all that I have for you guys today. Hope you guys liked what we also did to the birdcage. But yeah, guys, that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. We are at like 185 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe one more time. Sean McGriefer out. Peace.